I told the manager that I wasn't happy with the waiters gossiping. People shouldn't have everything they want. I don't care. No one is entitled to their every desire. I'm not kicking off. Okay, I don't want to touch your knee. Today, we're reviewing four cases of people who came off looking more than just a little entitled when faced with their crimes. Starting with this entitled man who thought that the law didn't apply to him because his son worked for the FBI. On August 24th, 2022, officers were dispatched to the scene of a car accident. Upon arriving, the police found that the suspect had already fled the scene. The officers got an account of what happened from the person whose car had been hit. She explained that she didn't want to press charges and she only wanted the man's insurance information. This is how car it was. It was smashed into me. Okay. And when I come out and I was like, sir, you hit me? And he's like, no, I didn't. While his car is in this position. Okay. We were turning left and uh, golf oh, towards okay. that way. Okay. And uh, then we just came here. He talked on the phone. He kind of wandered around the parking lot and then he got in his car and uh, drove off. And then he did not want to provide me any information. He was like, I know who you are. He, he, this and then this like kind of like bounce and then you did get his license plate though? i did uh, I, I got his license plate number yeah um and that's it but he okay. did not give me any other information he just drove off okay. he was like wandering around as little uh great nice. car and do you yeah. want a crash report done i do want it i okay. want to get a report because then i had to like get this fixed sure in that picture it looked like the same place yeah, in that call. yeah. Do you want him arrested for hitting you, or do you just want like his insurance information? I just want stuff? his insurance information. Okay. I don't want him to go to jail and stuff like that. that okay. That's not something I want. He just needs to be, be careful. Like, right. What if there will be a child in the car or right. something? Eventually, the police tracked the man down to his house and confronted him about the incident. They also asked the man about having been drinking, which he blatantly denied. Any problem? Yeah. Here, you want to stop out? Help out for me? No. Uh, no, you don't want to. You got uh, into an accident over on Greenwood. I know. Uh, you know? I, I say I am going to pay for uh, anything. Okay, well, according to Illinois law, you have Excuse to. Me, what, what else? Or, or Illinois what, law, what, you have to what provide what information and everything. What else? We're trying to explain that to you. Yeah, Why don't you, you just to, let him talk? You have to give your information uh, to the other driver before you drive you off. Know, I was sometimes some, somewhere. Uh, uh, for when you. Okay. All right. Do you have an ID or anything on you? No. No. I do you have I, insurance? I don't have. I. I am from uh, Poland. Do you have Poland? an? I, do you have a driver's license? No. You don't have a driver's no. license. Uh, How much have you had to drink tonight? Excuse me. Drink. Okay. What, what What do you think about this? Because I can smell it. No. How about you? Okay. You you so, drinking something? So now we have an issue. Some, yeah. you don't have some a license. Do you have insurance on the car? No. No. What's your first no, name? never again. Okay. Yeah, never. Uh, you have a uh, so, neighbor. So so what's your first what, what what's your first name? Heck? What the heck is going on here? Excuse me. What's your first name? Uh, 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 Joe Biden. Joe Biden. Okay, no. What what is your name? So you either have to identify yourself yeah. or we're going to take we're, you. We're not playing games okay. here. I mean. After refusing to give his real name, the man tried to warn the officers that his son works for the FBI. You're going to arrest me. Uh, yes, sir. You... Okay, go ahead. Go ahead. You're not going to identify be, be, be yourself? Be careful. Be careful. Because uh, sometimes I am uh, my son working from FBI. Oh, okay. okay. Cool. So how about this? How about you give us your name and then you can go inside? Uh, no, 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 don't, don't, don't try. Don't try. Don't try? You're, okay. you're playing games with us uh, here. We're uh, trying to get this uh, taken anyway, care of so we can get you I out like of here. That. Why, why are you doing like this? Because you got into an accident. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Nothing time. happened. That's why we're here. Nothing. Uh, I, gonna, I, I tell her I'm going to pay okay. something. Okay. Uh, well, she doesn't. She's not under the impression that that's what happened. Okay. Yeah. So uh, you gave us. You gave her no information. My home is with you. Go ahead. Why? What are we gonna do inside your house? Yeah. Yeah. So do you have any sort of ID, ID on you? Anything? I I don't care. I wanna be fair. Okay. okay. I like it, police. My father was police. I appreciate that. My sure. son so, working for FBI. Okay, so all we're trying to do now is we're just okay, trying to okay, identify okay. 
what happened in the accident uh, so we can leave. Well, well, uh, Suddenly, the man claimed that the police wanted to kill him. Your name? You want to kill me? No, no sir. We I just need want your name. name. I need your date of okay. birth. Go ahead. No. Can well, you, just, my just, home speak, home. just speak your name out loud and I will write it down. What is your first name? I don't speak Polish. I don't speak Polish, no. no. Unfortunately, no. 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 So, no, here's never. what I'm going to say, okay? We're going to give you one more chance. Tell this officer your name. So we can no, no, complete no. the crash report, I never go on or we're going to have to take you under arrest, yeah. okay? The man's refusal to cooperate and provide identification leads to an arrest that quickly became physically challenging. All right, do me a favor, okay. turn around. No, 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 no. Turn Don't, around. No, we're down here. Put your hands behind your back. Don't do that. Down the road. Stop resisting. You like, you like. Stop. All right, we're good. Hey, bud. Put your hand on your back. Got it? Yeah. One, two, three. No, oh. no, no. I don't want to go at you. Well, that's too bad. You we are, gave you plenty you are, of chances. Don't, don't pull me. Stand up. Put your feet in. Why? Why you guys? We're done talking about it. Excuse, excuse me. Uh, why you guys doing that? How many times uh, do you have to talk uh, about When I call to my we're son. Done. We're done. Put your feet in. Uh, I am not a uh, chicken. Put your feet in. Come we're on. done here. Sit Come on. Down. Move your feet in. I know it's not yes, coming. Sit tight. Watch your knee. Watch your knee. When the police adjusted his handcuffs, the man expressed that he was happy to be taken to jail. Where do you want to take me? We're, We're going to take to you Niles. to the Niles. To the oh. jail. <laughs> nice. I like it. Let me lock this one so it doesn't get tight. I, I, I love it. There you go. Okay, relax. He was driving drunk. Oh, drunk? Yeah, so okay. we have him. We have, we're taking him to uh, our lockup now. Oh, he's out uh, with you guys? Yeah, he was arrested. So oh. he's, in the, he's in our back seat, so we'll be leaving shortly once oh, he... Uh, do you know him well? Yeah, my neighbor. Yeah. Oh, your neighbor? At the police station, the man became more uncooperative. He talks about some sort of trick and that the officer should be careful. All right, so you're going to behave? Do you need help get out of the car? No. You don't? No. All right, come on out. You want to kill me? No, I don't. Wanna shoot me? Out. You want to shoot me? No, come you on. You want to shoot me? You need help getting out of the car right okay. now. Uh, well, uh, excuse me, uh, what I going to do? I, 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 I have some head. kind of no. trick, trick, uh -huh. uh, but be careful. Uh, OK, if, come on, let's go. Are you speak Polish? No, No, no one speaks Polish, if I would be able to show. Watch the time. Watch it. No. What kind of police you are? What kind of police you are? <laughs> I want to find you. Are you threatening me? Yeah, yeah. No, 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 no. I, 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 I just, I just want to. I just want to uh, make fall, fall, fall to him. Phone call. I have a seat. Okay, come on. You can have a seat and you can call your son. I am ready for wedding. But you guys take You're ready me. for what? Wedding? Where, where I am. Okay, if That's you sleep nice. here, you're going you go to you're gonna go to jail in the morning. They'll take you to court and you can... Uh, you want to you wanna, you wanna scare me? I'm not trying to scare you. I'm no, telling you what's going to happen. That's just the my, fa my father in Poland was in. Uh, uh, he was policeman. Uh, okay. He never was scared. Nothing yeah. happened. Uh, but very, you're driving. Very you're driving drunk. Too much tiske? No. Yeah. No, I. Yeah. So, uh, uh, you have money? Two hundred dollars on here? Two hundred? Yes. Yeah. Two hundred. For buy. Excuse, excuse me. Excuse me. Excuse me. Uh, yeah. Don't don't play. Don't I'm not don't play with me. Because if I gonna say what kind of what kind of number? Uh, Fifty-two. Uh, what kind of policeman you are? I'm the policeman. When I gonna to talk to Matthew, my son? Yeah. Special you agent. Call, call your son. Can you call him? Do you want to call, call your son? Go ahead. Go What's ahead. his number? Go, go, go. 
What you are you gonna say you are kind of son of a you are police? Okay, shoot me. I think you had too much to drink. Uh, no, 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 no. I remember how shoot to who. Do you think your son would be happy with you? If your son is who you no, say your no, son is, do you think he would be happy with you? My son is my son. Yeah, but you think he'd be proud of you right now? No. No? Why? Why are you being like this? Be because I am, uh, I am a Polish hooligan. You're a Polish hooligan? Yeah. What does this mean? Uh, that means uh, like American hooligan, uh, Mexican hooligan. What, what's Polish a hooligan? hooligan. What? Uh, somebody like a drink? Do you drink every day? No. No? Every two days? Only with beautiful girl. Okay. So you never drink? The man also made a veiled threat by saying that he doesn't want to come back to the police station with an AK. I don't want to come back here with AK. What's an AK to you? Uh, automatic Kalashnikov. Are you threatening to shoot up the police no, station? No, I don't, I don't have. <laughs> Making threats to shoot up a police station is not a joke to anyone here. Do you understand that? I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Later, the man was released under a D-bond, and as consequence of his actions, he was charged with DUI, obstructing identification, leaving the scene of an accident, resisting arrest and assault. This next encounter happened on August 17th, 2022. Police officers responded to a report about a woman who was causing a disturbance at a restaurant in Florida. Upon making contact with the woman, identified as Carol, the officer immediately informed her that the manager of the restaurant wanted her to vacate the premises. The manager of this establishment is asked to leave the business. Now you need to turn and walk out the door. Love, the manager of this business is an idiot. That may be, but you gotta go right now. Turn around and start walking there. Turn around. Come on, you don't want to go to jail. Walk out. Go ahead. Okay, it's fine, man. It's fine. Just turn around and walk out. I know. Go ahead and walk out. Come on. Come on. Start walking. For what reason? Manager's on. I'm going to the you're under arrest, put your hands behind your back. You're under arrest, hands behind your back. Turn around. You're under arrest, put your hands behind your back. Stop resisting. You're under arrest, put your hands behind your back. Get your hands off me. I don't do requests. Get your hands off me. Carol's friend caught up with the police and the officer explained why her friend was being arrested. Get your hands off me. She's being arrested. You have to stay over here with me. Okay, well, we told her to leave. She was trespassed by management, and then she attempted to push through the police officer and myself. So she, now she's being placed under arrest for resisting arrest and trespass. Look at this. What's this car? Doreen, look at this. What's in my arm? Hey, guys, come on. Ma'am, you got to stay here, ma'am. Ma'am. No, don't tell me what to do. I'm telling you what to do. Look how tiny Nathan stuff. Look what he's doing to me. Look, he's cutting off my circulation. He's twisting my arm. Don't walk any closer. Because I told him I wasn't happy with the way he was. I'm not inferring anything. You're welcome to stand on the sidewalk. It already is being recorded. The woman explained that she complained to the restaurant manager about not being happy with the waiters gossiping when their table asked for condiments. Because I told the manager that I wasn't happy with the waiters gossiping when we, we were asking for our salt and pepper and they were standing there talking to that. And I said, she was been arrested because she wouldn't leave the business and after she was told to leave. That's my right. Wrist under You're under my arrest. No. You pulling on You're this cuff? You're pulling on officer, this cuff, that's why it's officer, hurting. You're cutting officer, my circulation. We, my son is a state trooper. Come on. Are going you going kidding me? Why? Okay. Would you mind pulling her phone? Really I'm not hurting her. No. Her pulling on these cuffs is what's hurting her. If yeah, she okay, relax, well, you know, this is getting a little ridiculous. ridiculous. I agree. Oh, if she would have turned and left the business, we wouldn't be here today. Yeah, but officer, you don't arrest people for that. Come on. It's called trespassing. Yes, we do. Hey, okay, that's not. I'm here for this issue right now. Okay, I'm not worried about it. Six women have been in here together. Are you complaining about this service? Why? Why? She didn't leave when she was immediately told to leave. I believe. That's what I think. That's correct. After she was told to leave by management, so she's being arrested for failure to leave upon trespass, 
and resisting arrest. Can you just, can you let her go? She didn't understand what was going on. She understood. She was given multiple warnings and told to leave. You know what? We're going to post everything on Facebook. Okay. Yeah. You're more than welcome to. I'm so sure of us, okay? Oh my gosh, this Take is... a picture of us. Yeah. I've been taking a picture. Yeah. yeah. The officer explained that the woman was legally obligated to give her name to the officers, but she refused. Tell me your name and Amber. Like your legal name. I can't let go of you. The other officer can hold you while I write your name down, okay? You're legally required to tell me that information, okay? Do you have anything illegal in your purse? No, I'll have to search that for your identification. Take pictures. Take pictures Stop. of him going through my purse. Yeah. What if that was your mother? My mother wouldn't act like that, ma'am. Well, I'm sure if you were misbehaving, yes. she'd be putting you in her place, I would hope. And I don't misbehave. <laughs> but I don't understand what you're She just left now. She just oh, left. She, yeah. she was told to leave upwards of seven times. And when we stood in front of her, she literally physically yeah. touched the officer and myself. I didn't touch him. I thought I was just sitting. Might not be uh, touching me. Right. When you stuck your hand right. down, say, go ahead and arrest me. So this or not. No, this this is the way this is the way it's gonna go. Well, you know what? It's not gonna go anywhere. I'll tell you how it's really gonna go. We're not coming back, and everybody okay. we know, they're not coming back. Okay, now. you're you're more more than happy to do that. That's fine. You're welcome to your opinion. That's totally fine. We don't give out our names, ma'am. I want our names. Okay, that's fine. We don't give out our names. And your opinion was that she was being violent. That's your opinion. Well, I mean, you can look at the officer. You look at the camera. So. Would not leave. Yeah, that's the bottom line. Hopefully next time you will, uh, won't do that. I don't know how much you've had to drink or any other intoxicants might be in your system, but it might be really not great. I one right? glass of wine with my dinner. You may have. I don't yes, know. I may. Watch her. Once again, police explained that their friend was being arrested for trespassing and refusing to leave. Look at this. Four police cars, three hearings. Police here for us? No. No, y'all are free to go. You can do whatever you want to do. I'm sorry. There's much more important really? things we should be using them for. So why are we standing here? Let's get to show on the road. So he, he just pulled up. We need a female to come over here. While waiting for a female officer that could conduct a full search, the woman claimed that what was happening to her will go into history books. So why is this all happening in public? The officer, no, the officer said he's going to take me into the police station. So let's go. Would I don't know why down? I'm standing out here. This will go in the history book. I hope you're getting a good record of this. This is what I get for complaining about bad service to not, a bad manager. That's not, that's not what happened. That's exactly, you to leave. that's exactly what happened. Yes, but it's and not, I, I am going to just see this all the way through. It's, I am it's so a private, glad. It's a private establishment. So they can kick anybody out for anything. Yeah, they can kick anyone out for anything. Stay safe with this? Are you kidding? There's no safety here. This is a communist country. This kind of treatment. The group of women tried to talk to the officers about de-escalating the situation. They can't just say, okay, enough's enough. You've been warned, we've done enough. They, we need to here put they're, they're, very, they're very good with giving people chances. So th oh. this is actually pretty, this, is, this doesn't happen a lot. Yeah. Did you want to keep your jewelry on you? They're going to remove all these. Why? For what reason? Why, why would you think I'd be kidding? I don't know. I don't know. They're going to take all this when you go into the jail, so that's why I'm asking you. Doreen! No, Doreen can't come over here until I, I give her permission to come over. Yeah. You want to strip me? Take my clothes, too. Is that a take yes? Take my clothes, or too. No. Okay? Take my shoes, take my clothes. Take everything. The bracelet and jewelry is an option. Okay? You think about it. This is how we treat a law-abiding citizen. Someone who works for the community. Hmm? I explained it to you, didn't I? I heard everything you said. I've been nothing but respectful to you, correct? These handcuffs on me, having my yoni stripped from me is not respectful to me. Having me stand out here in public handcuffed because I complained about the weight step is not That's respectful. Not that is the problem. Well, I explained to you why you're being arrested. Let's go. What are, what are we waiting for? Yes, Let's go. Yes, do paperwork. While I'm standing out there? I, I asked you if you wanted to sit down. I want to go. Yeah. Let's see. 
take this off and open this? No. no, we're not taking them off. Sit down. You said you wanted to go, right? Are we going now? Yes. Shortly, but you have to sit in the car. Okay. Tell my church to come. They're at my church. Tell Lily to bring everybody. Bring everybody from church. Carol, Carol, come on. Tell him to bring everybody now. Watch your head. <laughs> She's going to jail. I gave her every opportunity in the world. All she had to do was turn around and walk out. That's after she put her hands out and touched my vest. She didn't hit me, but she put out her hands and made contact. Well, I will arrest me then. I'm, and I didn't even do anything right then. I took a breath and said, please, just walk out. And she couldn't. She wanted to push past and make a scene. So now she has to go to jail. Carol was taken to an area where a female officer could search her, but she says that she wishes to be near her friends because she didn't feel safe. I asked to be driven back to the public place where I was instead of being in the secluded area it's where none of my right friends and nobody out. can this see me. I do not feel safe here and I have been saying, right I have been- You have a police officer with you. Are you kidding me? The police officer who put handcuffs on me and twisted my arm because I complained about the wait staff. No, I don't. I don't feel safe here and I want to be in a public place. Would you like to just deal with me only? I have nothing to do with this situation. I'm a female to female. I can just handle it and ask them to step back. But before you go anywhere, I have to check you. I have to check you down. And the female officer tried to be as patient as possible with Carol, but she still refused to cooperate. I'm literally trying to be nice with you. I'm sorry you put yourself into this situation. Nobody else did anything. Did you hear right leg step out? Yeah. I asked to go into Step a out. Area. We're, we're done with all this. Step out of the car. You're done with all what? Trying right. to negotiate oh, with you. Right. Come out. Come well, you're under arrest, so right now you have to cooperate with our no, booking procedure. Austin, do you want to pull her out that way? You want us to pull you across the car? You're not going to push me. Perfect. You're not going to prod me. You're not going to twist my arm. What kind of a man Carol, treats take a, a woman relax. like that? You're tensing and bracing your arms, you're twisting your hands. Hold your arms. What kind of a man are you? What are you pushing my hair for? I need to check your hair. As Carol was being searched, she became emotionally distressed and expressed her bitterness about the way she was being treated. This is how they treat a woman, a mother, a grandmother, a teacher, a therapist. Get off me! Yeah, let me put my hands off you. Tell me, take it easy. Get off me! 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 Help me! Help me! Help me! Get the off me! A teacher, a mother, a grandmother, this is what they're doing! We're gonna transport you shortly. Come on, sit down. Turn around. Why? Otherwise, you'll push me down. Push you down. I want to go directly to the police station this time, instead of sitting here in a secluded area. As a result of her public outburst, Carol was charged with trespass after warning and resisting and obstructing without violence. Up next, on January 8th, 2023, officers were dispatched to an airport in response to a report of a woman who had been kicked off a plane for cursing and spitting at airport employees. Upon arriving, officers observed the woman, identified as 30-year-old Karina, walking away from the scene and heading toward the restroom. Miss, you're not free to leave. Okay, no you're not. Come here. All right. Are you okay? No, I'm not. I'm just checking on you. What's going on? What's going on? Okay, well, I'm here to Okay, I'm a police officer. I'm here to check on you. Thank you. I need to Okay, open the stall. Let me. Let me. I'm not comfortable to do that in a second. Okay, well, I can talk to you through the stall. What's going on? I have no idea. Like they like. I have no idea. Everyone in the place said they were fine with me. Uh huh. They said they were fine with me. Uh huh. They said they were fine with me. Uh huh. They said they were fine with me. Uh huh. They said they were fine with me. Uh huh. They said they were fine with me. Uh huh. They said they were fine with me. U
They were like making an issue. I was like, it's gonna delay your flight. I'm Are you trying to go home or on vacation? No, I'm going to work. What do you mean? Okay. Do you want to come out here and I can help you out? What airline? Oh, I, like I don't feel sincere in your voice that you're gonna help me out. I'm here to help you. What airline are you flying with? Obviously, no airline. That was the last airline tonight. Y'all just find me, bro, because I didn't want to make a scene for y'all. Okay. Thinking. So my biggest concern. I, mean, my, I got off the plane, so it didn't have to be a thing. Yeah. Uh, so why do you think they wanted to go off the plane? I have no idea. Obviously, somebody doesn't want me. They're doing a power game. Like whatever. It has nothing to do with the whole flight. Okay. Can you open the door so we can go figure this out? Um, no, I don't feel comfortable with that because I feel like the, the whole reason I don't feel comfortable. Okay, so well, I'm, I'm here. I'm not going to leave. I'm, I'm a, my, my, Obviously, I'm here, but I don't know. I don't, I don't trust you guys because the way that I got kicked off the plane was, was irrational. So, no, I don't feel comfortable. I'm not doing all this right now. So, do you want to go to the ticket counter to try to get rebooked or get some help? Because sitting in a, a ticket? Yeah. They'll give you a refund. I'll get a refund. Yeah. Can you open the stall? I'm still, I'm, I'll let you stay on the toilet and I'll just, I'm gonna stand right here. I'm not even gonna come in. I'm not even gonna come in. You're gonna arrest me for what? Who said I was gonna arrest you? When Karina mentioned being arrested, she immediately told police that her dad was a lieutenant. She also accused the police of restricting her from calling 911. What do you mean, my dad's a lieutenant? Lieutenant yeah. where? Does it matter? He's a lieutenant in Rhode Island. Okay. The fact that you're saying that, like, I know what's going on and, it, and it's unreasonable. Well, can you it's open the, saying. can you open the stall? I'm not going to come in. I'm just going to stand right you here. You're acting like I'm going to leave a hostage. It's just, it's insane. No. No, I don't feel safe. I just want 911 from here. We, we are 911. Yeah. No, no, no. You're restricting me from 911 access because no, I want to We say. are 911. No, no, no. You're restricting me from 911 access. That's a felony. Don't, don't do that. Don't do that. So, did you have anything to drink that would make them think that you would need to be on the plane? What? Why would they keep you up? Nope. So, you're being upset that she didn't have anything to drink? See, I was like being a little obnoxious. I was like, I don't think it's hot. I don't know who, who made that call. I have no idea. So, did you have anything to drink today? I was with my friend. So, did you have anything to drink today? Is that what they would not want you on the plane? No, they even said the whole plane said that they were fine with me being there. No, I'm asking you. Did you have anything? I was playing. They just said they were fine. No, I'm asking you. Yes or no? Did you have anything? I'm not answering any of your questions, bro. Okay. Well, well do you want to go see if you can get on the plane? Because it's still there. I don't. I'm not on the plane. I'm not. Their whole thing. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So if I'm but if you if you go over there civilized, maybe you can I be swear to God, be the most civilized you've ever been. Okay, well, let's go. Let's go. Despite repeated inquiries, Karina declined to tell the police whether she had consumed any alcohol. Your ID. You have your ID. Am I? Yes. Get it out for me. I'm going to go to Frontier for you. And you swear you didn't have anything to drink today? You're fine. Yes, it's right. You did not have anything to drink today? I am not being out of control. Because you can fly if you haven't had anything to drink and they think you're safe to fly. But there has to be a reason for them to kick you off the plane. So just be honest. Just be honest. Thanks to me. Yeah, let's just go out here. Did you have anything to drink today? Is that against the law? No, that's what I'm asking. Do I need a lawyer? No. I'm going to call a lawyer. For what? Before I ask, answer any more questions, I'm going to call a lawyer. Did you have anything to eat today? I'm going to call a lawyer. Before I answer any eat? questions, I'm going to call a lawyer. Did you have anything to eat today? I'm going to call a lawyer. Have you eaten today? That's my lawyer, about it. Okay. You haven't had anything to eat today? That's my lawyer. You take medication? That's my lawyer. Are you flying? That's my lawyer. Are you going to Georgia? That's my lawyer. Atlanta? That's my lawyer. Okay. The officers talk to the employees to get an account of the incident. Oh, move from the uh, aircraft. What was she doing? Oh, she was good. She was intoxicated. I mean, but did she do anything other than, like, how did you, how, were you, how did you tell she was she was toxic? I didn't do it. Uh, it was Malik, so he might be able to oh. answer better. Yeah. Malik, what was that lady doing? Oh, that y'all had to read the aircraft. Screaming, spitting, cussing, recording, everything. Oh, thank you. Okay. Okay. <laughs> thank you. I literally because I offended somebody's feelings doesn't doesn't mean I should get kicked off the of flight. No, it doesn't. We didn't. We are the police. We don't work for the airline. The airline calls us, and we come over to a. Okay, so she was screaming, kicking, no cussing. I'm ready when you're ready. Shortly after this, Karina was placed under arrest, who denied what the airport employees told the officers. Please don't touch me if you don't have a reason to. Okay, I have a reason to. Okay. You're, I'm arrested? Yes, you're going to be arrested for public intoxication, okay? 
take your backpack off. Yep, and the reason is because I talked to the airline and they said that you were kicking and screaming and causing a take disturbance. Take your backpack off. He's not doing any of that. Wait, wait, wait. No, I want to witness. Take your backpack off. Okay, it's backpack. all being recorded. Yeah. Just take your backpack yeah. off, okay? Are you serious? Take your backpack off. Yeah. No, I'm not doing that. Okay, will you call will you my dad? I'm my dad. I'm my dad. Yeah, no, calm down. Call your backpack. Calm down. He's a lieutenant. Calm down. No. Take your backpack. No. No, I, I was not kicking and screaming anywhere on that plane. No, okay. pull up the finish. No, okay. right, that's Arena. No. Just calm down. No. Okay. Shoot me then. We're not going to do that. No. We're not going to do that. Oh, that's true. Oh, my God. 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 Well, you didn't want to talk to us, Karina, so I had to go ask the airline. Okay, so believe whatever they want, like whatever. This is annoying. It's an inconvenience to get my shit. Is your address on your license correct? Uh, call my lawyer about that. Don't touch Just don't lawyer. put it in your bag. I don't want you touching me at all. You're a liar. Well, Thank I tried you. to help you. Just no, 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 not you. But you're like, he's a liar. Where's your dad, a lieutenant? He's Rhode Island. Rhode Island? Yeah. Well, he can't help Rhode you here Island. in Texas. Why not? Karina started to become agitated as she insisted she did not want to be touched by the police. I don't, I really don't feel comfortable. I'm standing, I'm standing, I'm standing right here. No, I, do, no, I don't want him touching me. I literally, he's on a power play move. I don't want him touching me. I, I literally don't want him touching me. I'm asking you not to let him touch me. I don't want him. Do 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 I don't want him touching me. Do I don't want him touching me. I said I don't want him touching me. I don't feel comfortable with him. Okay. No, I don't want you touching Karina. me. Well, see, that's why he was doing that, because now you're kicking. I, yeah, because he's touched me and I don't want him to. You shouldn't have touched him and if he doesn't want to be touched. Well, right now you're under arrest yeah. and he has that ability. Wow, well, because I'm under arrest, okay. Yes, Daddy, I promise. Daddy, I'll be a good girl. Okay, so uh, this, is what, this is what officers try to tell girls to do. Yes, Daddy, I'll be a good girl. Yes, Daddy. No, no, this is what he's doing. This is what he's doing essentially. While being escorted out of the airport, Karina continued to complain about being touched, so she decided to kick an officer. Don't you understand? What don't you I don't understand? Want to, do not kick the officer. Do not kick an officer. Okay, so a female officer is going to like that. That's a simple Do not kick an officer. Okay, I don't want to touch me. Do you understand? Do not, he touched me inappropriately. Do you understand? No, he touched me. Don't. I, is she here? Call my lawyer. Get my lawyer. Get my lawyer. He touched me inappropriately. I don't want to touch me here. You're touching me. You're not touching yet. me right now. Get. No. Bro. Do not kick an officer. No, I don't give a. Get my lawyer. Stand up. Stand up. Y'all need to call my lawyer. Where we're on. Y'all need to call my lawyer. Because I don't feel comfortable being around y'all without my lawyer knowing where I'm at. Call my lawyer. Call my lawyer right now. Call my lawyer. I already a lawyer. That's my lawyer. My general lawyer. You need to call him right now. I don't feel comfortable without you calling him. All right, let's go. Stand up. Stand up. Karina, stand up. We're done being nice. You already came nice. You already kicked him twice. Yeah, I don't want to touch him. Yeah, they're so great because he was touching me. Yeah. No, he wasn't. He wasn't. He wasn't. He wasn't. Get in the car. Get in the car. No, I'm not going to hold him. Get in the car. No. You have to pull her legs. Yeah. Now call my lawyer. Call my lawyer first. Karina, step your. I don't know what I'm doing. Shit, bro. You better keep an eye on me. If I die tonight, that's in your This is who you work with. I swear. See if you can uh, ratchet that part down there. I remember my first beer, bro. Karina was transported to the station where she remained uncooperative. She once again mentioned her dad, who worked for the FBI, and warned the officer to think about that. All right, Karina, so we're going to come in here, OK? No. Yeah, you're going to get out the car for me so we can search you inside. And then you'll be able to call your father. All right? Obviously, like, he's already here. He already has my GPS. That's not, he's in the FBI, not the police department. Yeah. Anyway, so that's besides the point. 
So yeah, so you really want that to happen? Really? You can I make phone you. calls in here. I don't need a phone call. I don't need I don't need to talk to anybody where I'm at. They always know. Okay. Well, let's go. That's on you. Okay. See you all? Yeah. You sure? Positive. Do what? I said think about that for me. Okay. Sure? Karina, come on. Mm. I don't think it's Karina. the interest. No. And it's either you getting out of the car on your own or we're going to have to help you get out of the car. Yeah. It's not your best interest to have such a me. Karina. I'm just letting you know from what I'm telling you what's in your best interest for your we're career. Gonna have to, uh, yeah, yeah. Have a sense. It's just that. Go shoot me. Like this too. Right? Is we're going to assist me? Karina. Don't touch, don't touch me. I don't want you to touch me. I don't want you to touch me. I'll, I'll get me. Get me. No, go. I'm going to get in such a danger. Go. Get me. I don't want to. Karina demanded to know her charges and then refused to acknowledge them. That's my charge. I asked what my charge is. I have the right to know my charge. Public intoxication? No. Yes. I disagree. No, Karina. A football peace officer? Yes, Patty. What do you think that's going to do? Stop. No. Like, really? Come on. Seriously? Let's out so we can't be okay. Relax your hand. Come on. Relax your hand, Corey. Why don't you just pop on this type of tool sale and chill on my desk? Fine, just bring me in! That's a procedure. You gotta call No, it's not. This is not. I've been doing hey, procedures. This is not a procedure. Just put that finger right there. Just put your finger there. Actually, I'm not doing it. Just put your finger there. No. Is it okay? I mean, there's I cameras everywhere, so I mean, you're safe. Mind, I know, my GPS is here. I'm not safe with you. I don't want you touching me. I really want your hands off of me. Actually, I really want to punch you in the face. You're gonna okay. And you can shoot me after that. So you want, I really want your hands off of me. I want her hands off of me. I don't yeah. want somebody okay. touching me. You're not to hurry and you're just going to pretend to sell from here. That's all right. Okay. Come on. No. No, you said that too. What? I do. As a consequence of her actions, Karina was charged with public intoxication, resisting arrest without violence, and assault to a public servant. Our next entitled encounter happened on January 5th, 2023. Law enforcement were called to a home in Hanover Park, Illinois, in response to a report of loud noise coming from one of the houses in the neighborhood. Upon arriving at the home, the couple, identified as Alonzo and Veronica, acted defiant and dismissive 
towards the officers. They also refused to listen to the officers' warning to keep the music down. you guys turn on your music? It's really loud. Did you leave my property? We can't want you guys to turn down the music, we will. okay? We leave. Hold on, hold on. Are you guys able to just turn it down home. for the night? We will. Hello. Otherwise, if we keep getting calls, we're going to keep coming we back. We will, just leave. Okay. Hold on, don't okay. leave. Okay, so are you guys going to turn on the music? No, I want to know your badge number. 382. What's, What's your name? name? Officer Petru. You will What's your name? name? What's your name? Mr. Flashlight, what's your name? <laughs> Keep your flashlight off my face first. What's your name, officer? Right here, Patel. Come close. I can't hear you. Come closer. No, I'm, I'm, I'm okay. He doesn't have to come closer. Yeah, he does have to come okay. closer. Well, open the door. All right. Hey, so can you just keep the music down? You leave. It's on your own. We already told you, so just keep the music down, okay? I already told you my name and badge number. I can't hear you. Well, open the door then. No, I'm not going to open it. Okay, then. Too, too bad. Okay, too bad then. Keep the music down. If not, then... Alright, if you guys keep the music up, we get more calls. Hey, We're going to keep knocking. Security. Okay? I know my laws. Under state law, do you have a search warrant? To come on this We're property. not coming to search your house. We're telling you to turn down you know, the music. It doesn't matter. You're complaints. trespassing. If you don't have any type of search warrant or anything like that, you don't have no right to be on this property. Where's the other guy? You can shine all that light all you want, bro. We know our laws. <laughs> If Why you keep playing you your music real you? loud, you're gonna get a citation. Okay? The other guy that was with you? Doesn't matter. If you keep your music you up, you're gonna get another citation. Back. You know what? Step to the back. I'm gonna get the other guy's name and badge number. Okay. okay. A few moments later, the couple stepped out of their home and started yelling and threatening the police. Yo, go back inside now. Go back inside now! Go back inside now! Go back inside your car! I'm right here, so go back inside. Hey, are you guys gonna come hard? Because I got computer carry. Oh, do you? Is that. Are you uh, threatening me right now? Are you threatening me right now? Is that a threat right now? Is that a threat to a police officer right now? Is that a threat? Is that a threat? Is that a threat to an officer? Give me your name and badge number. Is that a threat to an officer? Give me your name number. Is that a threat to an officer? Give me your name number. Is that a threat to an officer? What's your name and badge number? Hold on, hold on. Is that a threat to an officer? Are you threatening a police officer? What's your name and badge number? Are you threatening a police officer? Officer! I got a FOI card! I got a FOI card! I got a FOI card! Officer! I got a FOI card! This is the first time you're here, officer. Not the first time you're here. No, 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 don't, 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 don't try to pull force. Don't try to pull force here, bro. It's not a threat. The couple let the accusations fly while the officers tried to de-escalate the situation. But each request of compliance was met with demands for their names and badge numbers. What's your name and badge number, sir? What? What's your badge number? We're not threatening a police officer. You listen. What's your name and badge number? You're not going to arrest you. What's your name and badge number? If you touch me one more time. What's your name and badge number? 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 What's your badge and what's your name and badge number? So that we don't come back. What's your badge and name? What's your badge number? It's on your own. It's on your own. It's on your own. While all this is taking place, the couple kept on pointing their phones at the police to record their interaction. Alonzo claims that the officer is threatening him by coming on his property. For you, bro. Don't me today, bro. You know what? I got the issue with this guy. Me? Am I what? Are you threatening me? Am I threatening you? Telling, Are you threatening me? With me? By coming in my property? Are you threatening me by telling me? I ain't with you, me. but I'm telling you. Yes hey, or don't, no? Don't yes with or that. no? Don't, don't, yeah. don't yeah. fucking with that. sign flashlight at my don't, face. Don't, don't fuck me with that law, bro. We're Are you threatening me by coming in my property? We're not threatening you. We're not threatening you. Okay, no, he's threatening you. With me today. He's threatening That's what me. he said. Hey. He's threatening me. Hey. Nice. Okay. I know my rights. You are being nice. Were you here now? You are being nice. Were you here the night he before? Here. He was here before and she was here before. So why the f don't you tell your buddies what's up? Veronica claims that they've been harassed by the Hanover Park Police ever since they moved into their place. I told you, I feel harassed since we moved here. We only got six months living here. Okay. I feel harassed. Have five, okay. I have kids. I feel harassed. I'm being harassed by Hanover Park Police. Okay. I'm being harassed. Okay, are you going to listen to me or not? I'm going to listen to you. Okay. Yes, I am. When we walked up, yo, brother, do not 
shine that light on my face. Can you listen to us? But just because it's Okay, this is how you're going to act with the law enforcement if you have family in the army? No. Okay, then. I want respect. Just hear me out. I want respect. I want respect. Obviously, you are respecting. I don't see you turn on your music. You don't bother to hear I'm not talking to you right now. Okay. Are you f***ing turning me now? No, no, no. No, no, no. Yeah, you just made f***ing threat. Can you guys please? Oh, says what? Says one of the threats? Bro, you've been making threats in Tiny Lebanon. Hey, I work for the state too, look. As the woman tries to talk to the officer, the man began another tirade, demanding the officer's badge numbers. He also pointed his phone's camera in their faces. What's your badge number, bro? What's your name? Babe, hold on, babe. What's your badge number? What's your name, bro? Babe, hold on. Can you hold on? When we, when we came here, it's on your own, we bro. physically we heard loud number, noise and music. No, it's on your own, here. bro. Okay, but it's okay, not. So that is why. I want to speak to the neighbors that are recording. Look, uh, let that guy know two more months and I'm out. I'm out. I want I want the best for my family, so I'm leaving. I don't want this. I don't want this. Do you want to listen to that this will all end? Or do you want to keep going all night? I can because go as long as he wants to go. Thing. You want respect? We want respect. Step away from me. You have no okay? You have what are you looking at? I'm looking at you. You, you have no right to yell at me, bro. I'm telling you. I know my constitution. I know my right. I know my constitution. I know my right. I know my constitution. I know my constitution. I know my constitution. You, you know, with a badge doesn't make me look different as a Hold on, hold on, babe. I know my law. Relax. I know you do. I know my law. Yeah, you, you keep putting that in front of my face. You're talking to me like that? You will get arrested. Aren't you we ain't done either, right? Service? That's we all you can do. You're putting lights on me. I'm putting lights on you, okay? That's it, okay. bro. I'm recording you. Okay. I want your badge and me number, bro. I'm telling you this right now. Do they have a loud noise complaint? Because if you do, if you look at the you'll get obstructed. Bro, don't scare Okay. Alonzo tried to calm his partner, assuring her that he knows the law. Since the couple continued to show no signs of settling the matter peacefully, the officers decided to take drastic action to put an end to the commotion. I know my law. I've been a lawyer for what? Five years already? Okay, you got okay. to be a lawyer. Okay, I'm a, I'm a lawyer. I'm a lawyer. How about you give me your badge and name number, bro? Who's calling? Go write her a ticket for loudness. No, 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 what are you doing? Get on your stomach! On your stomach! I'm pregnant! 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 Go! Right. I'm working! Back. I'm not treating her like that! I'm not working! Turn around! Turn around! Back up! Back up! Back up! Stop it! Okay! I'm not gonna tell you again! Back up! 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 Other people who appeared to be members of the couple's family started to get involved. Back up! I'm not gonna tell you again. Go! Do not touch me. Do you understand? You just touched me. Don't. Do not touch me. Do you understand? Look at how you guys push my my. Why are you treating me like that? What did he do? I'm not gonna tell you again. Back up and give me my officer's face. Do you understand? I'm not gonna tell you again, I'm not, okay? I'm not even you touched you. me twice already at this no, point. No, I didn't. Yes, no, you did. No. Right, right, right. So right. get inside the house now. No, I'm, not I'm not gonna tell you again. Go you this. For what? Go get inside the house now. Knock it off! Knock it off! Come out here! Come out here then! Come out here then! Come out here! Come out! Alonzo continued refusing to cooperate as he was being placed inside the police car. Put your feet in there. Don't push me, bro. Put your feet in there. Hey, officer. Put your feet in there. Put your feet inside the car. Well, careful, Tess, stop pushing me. Put your feet in the car. He's pushing me. While in transport, 
Alonso still kept on asking for the officer's name and badge number. Officer, can you state your name and badge number? Why are you laughing though? You think this is funny? Yeah, you don't want to say nothing because you know you're being recorded. And I'm going to get my lawyer. My lawyer is Rick Kane. And you're going to be hearing from him. This is against my constitutional rights. I want to know what's your name and what's your badge number, sir. I already gave it to you earlier. No, I want to hear it again, though. Oh. I know. What do you mean, though? It's against your own, sir. Officer? All right, step out. I want to know your, your name and badge number, please. As a consequence of their actions, both Alonzo and Veronica faced charges of felony, aggravated battery to an officer, a misdemeanor for resisting and obstructing an officer, and a citation for loud noise. We've got more to uncover, so stay tuned and check out another video we think you'd like.